I'm Brandon Rowe along the Danforth where memorials continue to grow nearly two weeks after a gunman opened fire, killing two and injuring 13 others. One of the victim's injuries may change her life forever, but there is some good news tonight. Daniel Kane recently woke up from a medically induced coma and was able to speak to her boyfriend for the first time since the shooting. It was a roller coaster of grief and guilt and, and thoughts of unknown and, and one moment I was just like being spending time with my partner and the next moment I was like being a, a nurse trying to help save her with the police and EMS. There have been many sleepless nights for Jerry Pinkson since the shooting. He's been at the side of his girlfriend, Daniel Kane, in intensive care at St. Mike's. She was shot in the spine while trying to help people during the shooting rampage. She has no sensation or feeling in her legs right now. I know she's got a long road of ups and downs, and the doctors say we don't know until she begins the rehab to fully know the extent of her injuries. The bullet struck and shattered Kane's T11 vertebrae, puncturing her diaphragm and stomach. She was in a medically induced coma until last night. Finally, Jerry Pinkson was able to speak with Kane after being at her bedside since the shooting. I just wanted to ask her if she felt safe. Uh, like, was she in any pain? Like, like how she's feeling? And I just make sure that I remind her that I was going to be there, always going to be there, and I loved her. 31-year-old Kane's heroic act wasn't a surprise to any one of her friends or family as she's studying to become a nurse. She told me, she's like, I'm not a hero. The police and EMS that saved me and helped me, those, those people are the heroes. I just wanted to go and see what I could do. I, I, I don't consider myself a hero. And uh, just, it's just a test of how like, humble she is. Kane is one of two patients in stable condition at St. Mike's Hospital. All three patients at Sunnybrook have been discharged, as well as the seven who were treated for various injuries at Michael Guerin. We reached out to Toronto Police for an update on shooting suspect Faisal Hussein and the investigation, but they told City News there isn't an update at this time.